Hey YouTubers, doing a review now of the Bostro 3470 made by Dell. This exact model features the Intel 8th Gen Core i3-8100 CPU, which uh, if you look at user benchmarks, says it's pretty freaking powerful, um, at least, you know, in comparison to 7th gen and 6th gen processors. Now, uh, we'll talk about some of the features on the CPU. Uh, we're going to look at the user benchmark real quick, because uh, I already did a video about that, so you can uh, check that out for more in-depth. And then we're going to talk about... Uh, you know what I've done to upgrade this thing already uh, so let's start over on the right and sorry for having the flash pointing in the middle of the screen but uh, because the CPU is black it's kind of hard to see things on it and we're going to uh, open it up we'll want the the light on alright so these come standard with 4 gigs of RAM I upgraded this to 12 um, I almost think I should have went 16 to be honest with you for what I'm using it for. I'm doing a lot of CAD stuff, uh, Mechanical Autodesk Inventor, uh, Autodesk 3DS, we're doing animation, and then HitFilm Pro. And so uh, having all those things open at the same time, plus Internet Explorer uh, and uh, another software to record screenshots and stuff. Um, it's kind of taxing on the RAM. Of course, I could shut things off, um, but I don't like to do that. So another thing we're going to look at is the Dell spec page. Um, and you will see that the video RAM is shared uh, 2 gigs. So uh, right there, you already dropped down quite a bit. So to be honest with you, uh, 8 gigs, you know, you can get by with some stuff. Uh, for the most part, 12 gigs, probably decent for, uh, more than decent for everybody out there. And then, you know, for me, probably 16 might have been the way to go. So that's what I have done to this. You see it's uh, 3.6 gigahertz. All right. So here's what we had um, for our performance results. I just ran this again and... Uh, it gives the same results, so that's good that it's consistent. Gaming, this is not good for gaming, and that is uh, really because of the graphics. Um, this says it excludes uh, SSD uh, in their benchmarks, I guess, as they do their comparisons. Uh, however, if I did have an SSD, my scores uh, would go up, obviously. So um, for desktop, this is, you know, pretty decent gunboat and what they score it, not too bad. And as a workstation, um, it's not that great a score. But, uh, you know, the truth is when you compare this to older generation CPUs and they're still chugging along and doing quite well, um, you know, it's not all that bad. All right, so the main things that are... Uh, killing this thing are the graphics more than anything not having a dedicated uh, graphics card if it had that this thing would shoot up and we're going to take this computer apart and see uh, indeed what kind of slot there is because when you go to Dell's web website which you know is kind of uh, what you expect not getting a lot of information from them um, they do not tell you what slots are in here um, in the places you would expect them so if this is all it has we're gonna be uh, SOL um, I'm only able to record for five minutes so there's gonna be a part two to this video but uh, if we go back to video you see here are your two types of video controllers uh, the UHD 630 which this one has uh, the 610 which is probably for the crappier versions and then GeForce GT710, which may be for the i7s. All right, so the next video, I'm going to talk about the features. And then the final video, I will take it apart. Thank you.